<laughs> Do it. We we we've seen nothing so far. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Shit. Deliciously. Full pred good, though. So, as we last left our heroes, we had just beaten the slaughterhouse where there was that creepy guy. Oh, yeah. He was like, I tested alpha null and stuff like that, and then they're like, a gamma null has a 100% survival rate. And that's me. I'm gamma. Um, so it's like Sonic Adventure 1, you should say. Woo! Oh, I got my cheat swords on. I should take uh, this moment to take those off. Uh, yeah. Too I don't strong. Uh, that and it'll kind of screw me up a little bit. Uh, so we had the rainbow sword last time. You want to go back to that? Yeah, I like yeah. the rainbow sword. Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> It's still June. I saw everybody complaining about the heat, like, uh, on Facebook, and I love it because I'm a desert man. That's why, that's why I saw it, I'm like, yes! No, I, I I fucking love the heat too. <laughs> I fucking it was so it was so funny. It was like I was, I was like seeing a whole bunch of people just like God, fuck the sun. It's a deadly laser. It's like it's only eighty four degrees. <laughs> it's not even like bad yet. Like it's not bad until it's like a hundred. Yeah. That's when it starts getting shitty up here because we have a lot of water up here. So it yeah. just there's no space for whatever you're sweating. So like you don't know what's condensation, what's sweat, what's like like just. Just like a floating amorphous blob breakfast. of liquid just soaking out all of your nutrients. What is it? Oh, I don't know. You didn't have a whole lot in the kitchen. Found a couple fish heads and some protein paste and made a soup out of it. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> I hesitantly drink it. <laughs> you just have you just take poison damage for the rest of the game, and, yeah. it, makes, and it makes a really incessant beeping sound the whole I time. I could be Minnesota. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> That's my new favorite. <laughs> Your new favorite. That makes me so happy. I thought it tasted pretty bad. <laughs> um, there's something else. I was just mentioned the fucking like uh, Midwestern like saying something was interesting like not like like hard committing on either. Yeah. It's like it's like really tough because sometimes I just will something is genuinely interesting, and if I say that it's just like oh that must suck. It's like no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you borrow Behemoth. If you're ever lonely, Behemoth will keep you company, but you better take good care of him because he's still my best friend. I think another one of my favorite um. But it's just borrowing. Uh, like I guess you call it what do you call it colloquialism? What do you call that? Like like local like. Like think like the like yeah. sp speech pattern thing. I don't know. Yeah. Where, like like the one thing I was saying was really interesting. It's not like uh, it's not necessarily Midwestern, but it's, I, I ran into a lot more than more Midwesterners. But like whenever you're like say a lot of things, yeah, and like I guess the conversation isn't going anywhere. You, just, you get hit with a really hard indeed. Yeah. Indeed is the end of the conversation. <laughs> Every time that happens, no matter what you say, they're not going to talk to you anymore. <laughs> There's no way out of it. Indeed, that's, that's like that's that's like a brick wall right there. Yeah. Failing to kill your target, murdering an entire police squad, dereliction of duty. I'm surprised you even decided to come back. You fucking. This is your last chance. If you deviate by even the slightest margin from your orders from here on, our relationship will be terminated. You cannot possibly understand how gravely important our work is. The dragon was null. I... How do you know about that? I found Leon von Obenstein Schlaben. But how did you... You were never intended to know about... <laughs> Tell me the truth now. Yes, of course, but how'd you know about Leon? Doesn't matter. Answer my questions. I see. Yes. I imagine you do have questions. Who am I? 
<clears throat> there are no records of your life before Null. You presumably had a normal upbringing and family. Your aggression and psychopathy made you a prime candidate for Null. You were placed as a child in the Gamma Project in the most elite Null unit. You were given Kronos to enhance your abilities and trained to be a super soldier for New Mecha. I don't know much more. Leon said Null and Kronos were failures. Kronos had unintended effects on the system. Nobody foresaw the lethality of Kronos' withdrawal. Most Null died. Will I die when I run out of it? There is enough left for you. I can assure your safety so long as you remain compliant. Everyone I kill is related to Kronos. Its creators must be silenced forever. Kronos can never be allowed to come back into this world. When they're gone, I'll be killed next. Mm -hmm. No, you've been largely compliant. Our superiors are pleased with you. I understand. <laughs> now it's time for your treatment. More heroin. Shoot me up with but that. But like, time heroin. Time heroin. That's the good shit, dude. Listen, if you're, if you're on heroin, Fuck you're on you. time heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about Midwest is I've been catching myself with the accent, because I yeah. have it. Oh yeah. yeah, we all have an accent. It's there. I, I used to have a, um, I used to have a, have a, a th like a thicker, like, Arabic accent. Oh, really? I used, to able to co I used to copy my cousins all the time when we were real little. So I used oh. to have an, an accent for a little bit. And then, um, it, like, went away because I went to school with, with Americans. And I heard people talking like this there, and, you know, it's going to give me my trick. And, yeah. And, <laughs> uh, I didn't hear talk like that so long, it's, like, it's, like, hard for me to go back. Um. So I'm going to El Kasim's bunker. And I'm going to destroy everything and everyone there. <laughs> Remember her? Yeah. How could I forget? Welcome to the Center for Synergistic Research. Are you <laughs> I remember you. You're Pikachu. <laughs> so I caught up to see you. All right, right, I finally right. get your costume. So go I. Pink. Uh... Roast potatoes. So you take this whole in character <sighs> thing pretty seriously, huh? Pink a pee. <laughs> oh, Pikachu season four. <laughs> it reveals he's Rash's father. So dark and mysterious. <laughs> okay. I'm only at season 18. Do Musty and Geodad really get married? Oh, no spoilers. No spoilers. Musty and Geodad. I like that because no that's spoilers. like... That's kind of implying that Misty and Geodude. Why didn't you tell me? I think I can handle a spoiler or two. You're no fun. Well, um... Actually? <laughs> what if maybe we could watch together sometime? Anime is a path I walk alone. <laughs> That's too good. Say. Adjust, adjust, adjust your glasses as, as they like shine so bright from the, oh, the, well, the light um, in the room. Maybe someday then. Off of it. Go go on through, I guess. No, it's okay. See ya. I think see ya is like. Usagoi. <laughs> I like that. Anime is a path I walk. <laughs> Nanda. There's. There's a certain dialogue tree where it's like makes reference to Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So Mario Maker 2 is out, eh? Now it's time to remake Chicago Enforcer on the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> you know we could, man. That <laughs> that one really was nothing. Yeah, there was like nothing in it. It would just it oh, just look at me. Room. Look at the fucking balls on me! Yeah. <laughs> Shit! Yeah. Look at how big my fucking Look at how huge my is. testicles were there. <laughs> that was ridiculous how I beasted that. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Look at the stainless steel conquers on this man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice! Alright. Nice. Forgot. Oh, that's right. I remember now. So there's a point when there are less of them. That's what I need to do it. Oh yeah. I, I didn't see that guy. I got either. legit surprised there. I didn't see you him saw either. that. It kinda of blend in a little bit like the turrets. Alright, just gotta 
I'd be better. It's like tough because it, it like comes right at you. What? You see how it reflected that and still died? Yeah. yeah well, that's because it shoots like a spray. A lot of them. Okay. There was one bullet going back, but there was like a bunch still coming. Slow down. Slow down. Time. Never mind. We'll just do that. Slow down time? What am I, a Kronos junkie? Yes. <laughs> yes! Well, <laughs> I never looked it up, but I don't remember if it's like. It's been so long. I don't remember if it's like in Greek mythology. Was it like. I know Kronos is the uh, Titan that like ate all the gods, right? I remember like. Is it. Am I mistaken in saying like Zeus like slayed him with like a stone that he ate? Like the Kronos yeah, stone? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Is that what that was? He killed him with like yeah, like there was like a like yeah like was there something called the Chrono Stone or that some from some fucking thing I saw on a TV show and like thought it was real. I thought Kronos was like the father of all the the gods. Yeah, like, they all rebelled and killed him. Well, he ate them all. Oh, he like ate he like systemat they were like like fuck you dad and then he was like no and then ate them and he ate like I think it was uh, Athena, Zeus. Hera? I don't remember all the gods that were, like, original gods, because some of the other gods aren't, like, related to him. Yeah. But most of them are related to Zeus. A bunch Shit. of them. <laughs> and... I think what happened was Kronos was like... No, 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 he was, like, afraid because the gods were, like, stronger than him or something? I don't remember. I used to know the story really well, but like, he, like he ate them. I remember that part that because it was like it was the it was like the, the cosmic boar. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 like Kronos had swallowed like pieces of like stone or something also, and the stones like survived his like digestion because they're like as strong as gods, I guess. All right. And he got they got out because Zeus slit. Oh shit, that was fucking cool. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, here it goes. Fuck. Um, I was gonna say, but I, I, I think it was like there was like, a, like he had a, like they slayed him with the Corona Stone. It's like the only thing that can kill gods. I don't know if that's like a fucking real thing. It does sound like some Marvel shit. Well, yeah, all that shit is like Marvel shit. It would literally be a time stone. Well, no. <laughs> like, well, it's Cronus Stone. Cronus is just the name of the, the father of all gods. Yeah, the, the Titan. He's the god of time, also, isn't he? I don't think so. I think that's just something people added. Well, like, was way that later. where the root word Chrono comes from? It does. It does come from that, but I don't know that it actually is has anything to do with time. Okay. I don't know that that's actually like a direct. Okay. I think it, it has something more to do with like his like being unkillable. Is there something fucking... There's a bunch of shit I need to look up right now. Because, <laughs> like, I'm really curious. Because, like, you said there were Kronos. I'm sorry, I don't even remember that shit. Um, but, so, Jeff says, you ever just play a game and wonder what is... What, eh, what it was like to be a voice actor for? Like, playing Manhunt or wonder who... <laughs> Who was paid to make 20 minutes of making sounds of gurgling blood or getting your dick ripped off? Yeah, that, that's um, a lot of times those are like uh, they're it's all part. Mike Patton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes a lot of Foley guys do that, and they're like, there's like people who's their job to just make fucking noises like that, and that's if it's like a AAA title. But like if it's like small potatoes, like usually like indie guys, they'll usually just make all the sounds themselves. But yeah, just imagining like it's like you have to sound right. like somebody getting like someone getting head and I have to the survive face. this one. It's like real weird. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because yeah. that was way too fucking bothered to not survive. Okay. Chronos. Um. <sighs> God, I know what I was going for with that. You are correct. Chronos is a personification of time. Okay. Ah! Damn it! Alright. Alright, so this guy. 
Gonna get got. Oh, no, no, okay. <laughs> there is two different things. So there's a Titan Kronos. Oh. C-R-O-N-U-S, the Titan. There is the Father of Time, Kronos. Kronos. Oh, okay. Just C H R O N O S. The the god of time. Titans are like up here, gods are like one thing lower. Okay, okay. Like I always knew that. So Titans are bigger? Yes. Zeus is just... only Zeus is only the big dick head honcho because he beat the Titans. Because his dad owned the company. He did. His dad owned the company. <laughs> but but his Daddy will hear about. But he had brothers and sisters who were also eaten, and I I'm looking at the up right now because I want to figure out if it was like the gods great. are like not as strong as Titans because he ate them when they were like children yeah. or something. That's what I want. What do I have now? Because I remember that being like a big thing. Because like. Cause like Greek shit, it was like fucking some dude tried to bore his kids, and they were like fuck no, and then they became the, the new gods. And then Egyptian mythology is like, yo, I think that river is hot. I'm gonna jerk off into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep doing Put in the voice shit. acting for Digital Swordsman and Third Strike. You know what? Digital Swordsman <laughs> 3 was gonna have it. <laughs> oh, damn, that's so it was, funny. It was gonna be me and, like, them, and we'd be, like, putting on, like, shitty voices for it. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure Kenji's was gonna be, like, now, what are you gonna do? <laughs> All right. You die? Space. You die. Alright. Now I just have to know this is like bugging the shit out of me. Woof! Alright, that was wasn't what I intended, but it worked. That and it got that, me out of this goddamn room. Yeah. So. <laughs> that option did not leave your small sensitive balls completely <laughs> <laughs> it's just a tradition. So like, so like, Cronus fucking castrated and killed his father, oh. Uranus, <laughs> who was the like personification of the sky. Okay. Because like the Titans were all like elements. So like, so like they're like like Gaia is the Earth, and then you have like fucking like wind, like Boreas or something. Unless he's a god, and I'm just fucking remembering wrong. And then you got like. Oh, I grabbed the wrong Kronos, I think. Who's just a de devouring force and they don't even really give him a thing that what his deal is. He's the titan of eat. Yeah, he just eat, eat stuff. Um, He's like, that was weird. Swallowed each of his children as they were born. So oh. just, just a murder machine. <laughs> He's just turning his kids into sausage. Uh... No, I know. That's I'm trying to get the red one. No, to to the far right of the room, like by the door that closes. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that that that's the ticket. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So so basically, what what I gathered from that is that like. He's only the king of gods because he killed his dad, who ate the other gods. Okay. And they're weaker than him because they were eaten. But he was not eaten. He came back with a big rock and was like, look, there another baby for you to eat. And he's like, oh, hell yeah. And it, like, fucked him up. So there is a stone that, that is real. He did beat him with a big rock. Okay. Differently than I thought, though. I thought it was way more metal. I thought he, like, cut his way out of his guts. With, like, a big fucking rock. But that would be if this was Norse mythology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Shit. He was a bomb and not just a guy waiting for he a He was the bomb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was the base being dropped. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. 
Uh, I wonder how did the voices of Mario paint? Imagine being five years old or or six years old. Okay, sorry, it was like COVID. But I realize that you're gonna you're gonna be in a Mario game, but out of all of the things you could voice at, voice act, you just say the word meow, and that's it. <laughs> that's true. That's a lot like the Sonic movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, meow. Alright, some of these are fucking sick. Some of these are trash. The rest of these Pokemon are trash. These Pokemon are trash. He's not wrong. There's a lot of garbage. Because they just make stuff without, like... like I mean... Just, just because they have to make a lot of them. And they don't have to, because a, a lot of the fan base... I don't know anybody who, like, was clamoring for another hundred every time. Uh, it's probably like just the children. Yeah. But there's like so many now. Yeah. yeah. I had someone ask me if I was excited for Space Jam 2. To which I said no. Yeah. Because I'm not seven anymore. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, if I was seven again, I might be into that. Yeah. But. Like, I don't know. It's, it's something I can't get back. Yeah, I mean, there's, like, a certain, like, type of thought process you can't, like, get back into. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, as it should. Every it comedy, stupid. the wayward swordsman awaketh from poisoned slumber. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting excited, isn't it? It is it's getting exciting. Excited. No, it's all good. <laughs> the first X climbeth. Dodge up it could be worse. It could be the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I like, I like how you're nailing the, the farts and the hee hees. <laughs> I am. I, thanks for noticing. Cream in my freaking bun. Am I right, guy? I don't like Miracle Whip, but alright. Whatever. <laughs> oh, whatever. We well, brought Miracle Whip, so you're gonna. What was it? Fucking. Fuck! Wasn't it like the event at the beginning of like Endgame? They were like putting like mayonnaise on hot dogs or something. What? Like, Hawk like, Hawkeye's fucking kids and family. Like like they brought. Oh, I missed that part. Yeah, they brought they brought yeah because we got in a little bit late, but like they they brought they brought in they had they were making hot dogs for a picnic. It was a really short scene, and it was just like this little little moment where it's just like ketchup and mustard for the hot dogs, but he's like but like. His Ooh. wife brought mayonnaise for the hot dogs or something weird. It doesn't make any sense. And you wanted to get them back? <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah, right. <laughs> God damn. That was like the. I was like, uh, yeah, that was like right, right at the beginning of the first like, like four minutes of the movie. So, this is the first time you've gotten a gun. Ready for me to use it? It's oh, it's yes. it's one of the mo the first reusable weapons. There, and I can <laughs> reuse it because I can pick it back up it if is. I didn't hit him with it. <laughs> yeah, you have to use it's... the gun as a melee weapon. Yep, <laughs> that's pretty great. Uh, but like because like then, uh, sorry, weren't even into basketball or gave no shit about Michael Jordan. But went, oh my god, Looney Tunes with the version of Michael Jack Jackson that plays basketball. Wait, it's time to, wait, Michael Jackson? You mean Michael Jordan that plays basketball? <laughs> no, what? what? What do you think I said? <laughs> yeah. I mean, because, like, Michael Jordan was so big, like, basketball was huge. So there's, like a, like, a lot of the people that were, like, good at basketball at that time were, like, legendary. Like, it was, like, unbelievable. Like you had like Shaq. basketball used to be kind of like I would almost call it magic. It, no, I I like yes. Orlando. 